Good evening, and welcome to my informative speech on suicide and youth. First, let me play this video. for each person to tell me one thing they know about suicide, starting with Zadel. Uh, suicide has long-term effects on family and friends. Shiny. Then it destroys family. Abby. It often starts from depression. Anissa. It seems a lot more prevalent than it was in youth five years or ten years ago. Sienna. It's a wrinkle. Betty. Suicide is not good. Alric. It's dangerous. Alicia. Suicide um, is often gone unnoticed as far as um, the people that's feeling the pain. You are all correct. According to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, it was reported in 2017 that adolescents and young adults were 15 to 24 years old, who, that were, who were 15 to 24 years old had a suicidal rate of 14.46, which is one of the lowest compared to adults 45 to 54 years old who had the highest suicidal rate of 20.2. We should not compare though. We should recognize that this is still too high of a suicidal rate for our youth. As you can see, the black line represents 15 to 24 year olds, and the white grayish line represents 45 to 54 year olds. So today, I'd like to inform you on suicide in youth. Hopefully you know that behaviors of suicide is a real thing, and that if you look up suicide and go to videos, a lot of news about adolescents committing suicide will appear. I will talk about signs of suicide behavior in youth, what leads to suicidal thoughts in youth, and how to control or prevent suicidal thoughts in youth. The school I go to is very stressful. Since it is an early college, I can estimate, I hear, about, I hear somebody say they're gonna kill themselves about almost every day. And deep down, some people are just joking, but others are not. And I can tell since I realize some symptoms of suicidal thoughts. Now, let's talk about signs of suicide behavior in youth. No two teenagers are the same, so their behaviors will not always be the same. But there are some common behaviors between every teen, like they might start doing worse in school, a drastic personality change, withdrawal from family or friends, talking about committing suicide, even jokingly, which is what I was talking about earlier or recognizing a change in their actual behavior, like becoming more violent or panicky. Those are just some signs that a teen is having suicidal thoughts. Now, let's talk about why teens and adolescents might have suicidal thoughts. These are the top causes why a teen might want to commit suicide. Bullying, family history of suicide, suffering from a disorder. Remember, I said these are the top causes, not the only causes. Moving on to how adolescents can control 
or prevent suicidal thoughts. Adolescents cannot go through this without a support team by their side. So as I talk about what they can do to control these thoughts, remember that their guardian plays a big role in it. Adolescents can speak to their school counselors or therapists, which could be a big help towards sorting out their feelings. Another big help can be speaking to friends or an adult they trust. There are many ways adults can help, but the biggest thing is communication. Communication is the key. It sounds easy to recognize suicidal behavior or helping adolescents overcome them, but it's not easy as it sounds. We as citizens need to recognize when someone needs help because one day the favor might need to be returned. Thank you for your time. And remember, as Charles Dickens said, no one is useless in this world who lightens the burden of another.